Okay, today we're looking at the Mikado GPS for V-Bar Touch. Um, this has been discontinued in the U.S. and if you try to find it, eBay, Amazon, anywhere, you're not going to find it. Um, the only place you can find it is usually second hand, but actually after doing a ton of research, I found this in Australia, brand new. Um, there's actually a heli shop called Zen that had this in stock, purchased it. it took about a, a week to get here, but got it brand new in the box. So today I have it here on my Kraken 580. Um, you know, I looked around on YouTube and everything to try to find some video on this, can't find anything. Um, got in some groups on Facebook and talked to you know all the guys there. You, they're still using it. Again, I know it's discontinued, but this thing works great. Um, it's probably about two inches long and two inches wide and an inch high. Um, you know, if I put a quarter on it, it'd probably be show you how small it is. It's a nice little compact unit. Um, I opted to put it on top of my Neo right here. There's a little metal plate that, that, that's optional on this uh, Kraken 580 that you can put a receiver but you don't need an external receiver when you're using a, a Neo because everything's included. So I opted to put it here. Um, you could put it out here back on the tail, which I don't like anything on the helicopter. I like everything nice, compact, and hidden. Um, you can also, you know, they tell you you can't put it in any place that's obstructed. I, you know, I actually tested it here underneath on the skid, which is below the entire helicopter. So this whole mass would be blocking it. it still worked you know I, I know they want you to get the best reception possible by putting it you know top in no obstructed view but it worked no problem um, picks up the satellites instantly um, no no issue whatsoever okay again setup is pretty straightforward you know you find the location where you're gonna mount it um, Put the double-sided tape, which is that red tape, which is basically like glue. You mount it. There's one wire here going from the GPS. goes down into the port on the side of your Neo. You can see it down there, just above the red there. Here's a little spot. So this actually has a separate port here that's that's empty, which allows you to actually da daisy chain another you know sensor if you had it. So if I had another sensor and I had no more ports left on my Neo, I could plug in the wire here and plug it into another sensor, which is actually pretty nice. Um, all right, so for hooking it up to the helicopter, that's basically it. It's stick, one wire, put it into the Neo, and you're done. Okay, so things you can, you can assign, which is nice. So this is my V-Bar Touch, and if you see here, I have current speed, max speed, I have a altitude, All right? and then I have this gray button here. <laughs> this gray button here actually is for when I'm doing speed runs, right? So if you're running and you do your max speed and you want to reset it, Instead of going into the menu and doing everything, you can just actually go here and press this right on the screen and it'll actually reset the, the max speed, which is nice. Um, overall, like I said, you know, the product's great. I'm going to do some outside flying with this. Unfortunately, today is a rainy, cloudy day. But uh, once I get out there, I'll do another video and uh, I'll show you how it works. So now that we have our GPS hooked up to our Neo and our V-Bar, if we go into our menu on our V-Bar Touch, we hit Model Setup, and we scroll down to Telemetry, we'll see that our V-Bar Touch now has two different menus added to it. We can go into GPS Setup, and we have things like Altitude Announcement Setup, a Stall Warning, speed announcement max speed announcement right and in these you can either set them you can toggle them to a switch or you can have them announce in any interval you want you know every 10 seconds this way you don't have to actually do it um, 
you can jump back here we can go to the status info again the status info is where it shows you what's actually happening as the GPS is setting up um, you can also use it for your current speed and max altitude you can look at from here but I prefer actually to do this on the front screen as I described earlier in this video okay so we just plugged in the power to the Neo Okay, so the first thing you know is you get this new target symbol that tells you you have a GPS. You can press this target symbol and then you can see it'll start working. Boom, already picked up five satellites. So right now what it's doing, it's trying to get a fix on where we are. It's gonna see how many satellites it can find and then we should be ready to fly. Um, you can see how long this takes. And today's a nice GPS day. Oh, there we go. GPS locked. We are good to go. And we will give it a shot. Okay, so with some casual flying, you know, you see my max speed there was 57 miles an hour. I'm, I'm only flying 6S, and I'm not really beating the heck out of this thing. Um, I, I realized that, you know, you can't actually watch the miles per hour while you're flying. I mean, you really need someone next to you if you want to actually watch it. Um, I don't like looking down at it away from the helicopter. I like to keep it uh, in focus all the time. But it's nice that it stores the max speed. Um, for some reason though, when you turn it off, it disappears. I wish it would save it somewhere. I have to see if it's storing it somewhere. I also can't figure out how to get the map draw. There's a po supposed to be a way to make it draw a map on Google Maps so you can see your actual flight I don't know where that setting is I'm also having a problem with the altitude and you see right now it says my altitudes 39 but uh, as you can see here we're sitting flat on the table maybe we're four feet high but it's sitting at 39 so I don't know what's going on with the altitude the speed definitely is working correctly you know if I take the helicopter and I walk around with it it'll pick up the one two miles an hour that I'm walking um, no problem and seems to be about correct so no idea what's going on with that altitude I'm going to reach out to some of the group and see uh, how you correct that but uh, otherwise um, it's working good all right till next time